All right, so a lot of you are getting this story of this man mixed up. This man, Balthazar Ebange Gonga of Equatorial Guinea, was to think he didn't knock all those women without CD. You can come across see knocking wife. That's number one. Number two, everybody they talk about only this guy video, but this particular woman video, I own video alone. It passed like 15. I, I think I'm going to jump on this story. This, um, uh, this guy, the, <laughs> the guy in town doing a bit of um, um, avoc to the ladies out there. You know, this Guinea guy or was is from Guinea, I think. Yeah, you see. I've watched the video because there's nowhere for you to hide. The vi his video is just everywhere. We're talking about 400 different videos. I've not watched any, I mean, up to 400. But I think I've, I've, I've been through a couple of this video. And all over the internet, the blame seems to be directed at this guy. If you ask me, honestly, I'm being very honest with you now. I, I don't know why this guy is being blamed. For all of this, you know, it was he's been sacked. I'm, I mean, it wasn't sacked because the, um, of what um, of the fact that he was sleeping with those women. Uh, I think he was sacked because um, his president thought he is bring uh, the his, his office into disrepute. So that was why he was sacked. I'm not even sure he was arrested. I mean, he was arrested. So. And I keep wondering why? Why do everybody? Why do? Why are they blaming this guy? You understand? Because so far, the, the few things I've read about him and what he did, the only thing that I say I can say that um, he did wrong, very very wrong, is actually sleeping with his uh, brother's wife. Why would anyone do that? You understand? That to me, that's the only thing I will say. Okay, dude. That, that's come on, that's wrong. You don't do that. Are you out of your mind or, or something? Something major, major screw has gone, gotten loose in your head for any man to even do or even think of such a thing. So that's, aside from that, what else? Sleeping with the other woman? Did they look, did they look like somebody that is struggling to you, to any one of us? These, these are just willing, um, uh, ladies, that this is what they wanted. It wasn't as if the camera was hidden somewhere or whatever. No, it wasn't really hidden. There was no camera hidden. They were actually looking directly straight into the lens of the camera. So they knew this guy has got a camera in front of him. So why they accepted to be recorded while doing all of these things and why the guy chose to record them, I honestly do not know. Um, I mean, he's a top government officials, or official, and I would think maybe he was probably recording them, maybe perhaps in the near future there, is, there will be a case of him raping women, blah, 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 as things is going around in, in, in town right now, that maybe he's trying to cover his back. And that's just the only explanation I can come with for him having tips, 400 tips of, uh, of those activities. You understand? So that's on the guy's side. Because uh, honestly, I, I cannot blame the guy. I can't. You understand? No, it's not as if I'm trying to justify or trying to find excuses for him. No, that's just a fact. A lot of these men are on the internet blaming him, saying all those of things. They do even do worse things. Go to Nigeria. Look at our ministers. Look at the domain officials. Anybody in top very top high position. You don't even need to be at that very top. Just hold a bit of power and some money in your pocket. Do, you, do we even know what goes on in those, in those offices? Even as we are talking right now. You understand? A lot of, we are saying, oh, 400 women. Some dudes out there will be like, 400, really? I've, I've gone through about a thousand and all of that. You understand? So, who do, we, who do I blame in this situation? I will blame the women. And that's 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 just being very honest. You might not like to, you might not want to hear this, but that is just the truth. If you ask me, that's my opinion. I blame the women. If you look at them, most of these women are married women, married with husband at home. 
And you'll be like, okay, what exactly is this guy giving you that your man? I mean, it's, it's not giving your home. Is he action in the other room? If it's not that strong in the other room, I believe there are certain things you can do, work with him, or tell him to work on himself and all of that. But for a grown woman, married woman, to go out there and sleep with another married man or any man whatsoever, she took her clothes off by herself, stuck naked, and also <laughs> being recorded, then something must be wrong with that woman. That's just my own opinion because women, women have, I believe they have a lot of dignity. For a woman to take off her own clothes and also allow them to be recorded like that, and she's got no hazards about it. Then, so why are we blaming the guy? Why are we blaming the guy? You understand? Yeah, he's, he's lost his job, but he's not going to lose his life because of that. Because there are worse men out there that have even do more than what that is, is done. And besides, hold a bit of money, hold a bit of power. These women will throw these useless women will throw themselves at you. I'm not saying all women are like that. Please. Let me pause there and let me address that. Don't do not get me wrong. There are fantastic women out there, very um, <laughs> well behaved, well mannered women out there. Are you getting my point? Loads of them are out there and they're still keeping their home together despite whatever um, they're going through in their marriage or in their homes. In their you understand? But I'm referring to those women in those in, in that video. There is one of them a married a, a, a pregnant woman. You understand? I mean, she is pregnant already. What exactly do you want to get out of that? Your husband is at home. So what would make a pregnant woman go out there and sleep with somebody that is not even her husband? And also allow herself to be recorded. I try to analyze this thing. I start to break it down left, right, and center. And I'm like, what on heart is going on here? But the only thing I'm going I'm not going to sit back and allow to, to, to run around is the fact that a lot of guys or women are there blaming this. I honestly cannot blame this guy for anything. No, the only one, the only thing I can blame him for actually is uh, sleeping with his brother's wife. And I, okay, so I, I don't sleeping with his, his, his cousin. You understand? Those are probably the two things I, I want to blame him for. But sleeping around with loads of married women, no. I'm sorry. I, I can't blame him for that. The, the only set of people I will blame are those women. To me, those women are very useless. They are very cheap. Whatever thing they might be looking for, I honestly do not know. At the end of the day, the guy will spend, he, he can, this guy cannot spend an, an hour on you. You understand? So your man at home can do, you understand? If it's not, your man at home is not really up to the work. I believe you can work together and, and, and fix things up. You understand? So going out there in, in the name of, or the, with the excuse that your man is not satisfying in the other room and um, because of that you want to be sleeping around, you are a use, very useless woman. You understand? You have that already in you to go out there and be sleeping around. So you're just using your, uh, your my husband is a one minute, one minute, no, do. my husband is this, he cannot satisfy me. You're ju just using that as an excuse. Yes, it's, it's as simple as that. Let's say it the way it is. You are only using that as an excuse. Oh, my mind cannot satisfy me, but hence I have to go around and sleep. I have to go and sleep around. No, you, you are just a very, very useless woman. You might not like what I'm saying here, but to me, I believe that's just the truth. If you have anything to say different, different to what I've said, please feel free, drop in the comment section, and let's hear it. So I saw the video, some of the videos, and I've listened to a lot of people analyzing it. And like I said, a lot of them are blaming the, um, the guy. And I'm going to stay clear of that. The women are to, to be blamed. So the only guy I actually listen to is a very dark man. 
He's a very dark man or very dark guy. No, very dark man, I believe that's his name. You understand? You know, he looked at it from different angle, and um, I want you to listen to how he, he broke it down and how he arrived at his own conclusion. And he's got one or two advice for uh, men out there. So, because I could not sleep during the early hours of today, I was just surfing through the internet and I stumbled on the craziest story ever. When I need crazy, crazy. <laughs> okay, so this guy on my screen, his name is Balthazar Ebang Egonga. And according to the story, he is the boss of ANIF in Equatorial Guinea. What does ANIF stand for? ANIF stands for National Financial Investigation Agency of Equatorial Guinea. Now, what do they do? They fight against money laundering, terrorist financing, and the proliferation of weapon of mass destruction. So just like Nigeria, where we get EFCC and so and NIA. So then there'll be the combination of EFCC and NIA. Now, what did this guy do? According to the story, that they suspected him of being fraudulent in the company or in the agency. So they decide to investigate him. Omo, um, uh, now so now they go to this guy's house. So they start to search for things. Next thing, they come stumble on some tapes. Some X-rated tapes. Only for these people to carry the tapes, so may they slaughter me. The first thing where they see. Now this guy. When in the knock one of the president's sister <laughs> inside the office. All these videos that I tell you about, I don't see plenty. Like, I don't see at least 60 <laughs> before this morning, right? And when I tell you the videos are crazy, I mean crazy. They slot in the other one according to the story, and they saw him with his own blood brother's sister, with his own blood, blood brother's wife. His own blood brother's wife. He did not come. Now, they don't even find out, say, two picking inside him, brother, children, not even get out. They slot in another one. A video with this guy and person wife where get belé. Person wife where get belé. Guy the chopper. They slot in another one. This guy with his own cousin. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, but she's the apple, not only God know with see I they see for everywhere they bro. There's some story that you'll be like, what? This guy and his own cousin. Slot in another one. This guy and a particular lady. This one is married, right? But she too, she also has videos of herself and some other women where she said they chop the women. So she they chop them, recruit for them. Then she too she go chop the woman. Based on say she she they do man and woman. Right. They slot and him more videos of farm inside office. He can't get one particular one when I watch. I say, wait a minute, wait till they go on for years. So the guy just opened in bowl. I just put for that sink where they say they piss for inside that toilet sink. One woman, your kaya man, your put for the bowl. Like, just drink all the piss. All the piss now she drink. She collect all the piss, drink and shh, from there, as if in a cup. <sighs> Bro. All these people in power and only God knows what they do. God of his head. Eh, your own cousin. Now let me even bust your head, right? There's another one again where the woman, children, they for background. Instead, I made that one make video for her saying. Now I tell children, Teresa, live there with their language. Do you understand? The speaking just live there. She starts. The children they within. She starts. She no care. Obviously, this guy they give them money. So, but for now, according to the story, he has been arrested by the president of. Equatorial Guinea. Now, first things first, right? Me, I watched the video based on my observation. I noticed that none of them be minor. None of them be minor. All of them are adults. Do you understand? All of them are adults. And the way he made those videos. See, I said I was watching the video. There are videos where we say you do for road. Public road. Do you understand? Like when, okay, I think there's a, there are times where people don't use that road. I don't know what to be in fetish. Center of the road. The one where they do for beach, public beach. I said they watch all those videos at my head, they bust. Public beach. Did you? Different one. It's like an office. It's oh god of Israel. Well, if like I say this poor of daddy thing, don't they go round? It don't reach Equatorial Guinea. Very soon it go reach Nigeria. Well, back to what I was saying. I don't think the guy did anything. 
wrong against the constitution he did a lot of things wrong against principles of life like your brother's wife your cousins another man's wife that is pregnant oh. to crown it up this one is happily married he said happily married man with six children he gets six picking five wife and this tape i'm telling you about over 300 oh my god equatorial guinea i hail you now shout out to you all in equatorial guinea i don't know say this i don't even know say i'm strong like that <laughs> anyways and they wait for the next person where you go up to, to nigeria so that we will see you go learn and we go learn the hard way don't play for me personally when i watch some of the clips because when video talks about it you know you cannot post the video on TikTok. You can't post it on Instagram. You can't post it on um, Facebook. You can't post it even here on YouTube. You can't post it anywhere except on WhatsApp or sometimes Telegram. Now Telegram these days is even as well restricting many accounts. But I will give you guys the video first. I really don't know why the guy was doing what he was doing. And nobody is stopping you not to have the kind of pleasure you want to have. Like what VDM said, these are adults. So he was never in any way forcing these people. Neither maybe recorded them against their wish because most of them or all of them knew that this guy was recording. My own part of it is that why was he keeping this tape? For what reason he's doing all of this? Like, okay, you did something or your own you know is cheating, but you record it or you documented it or you keep it somewhere. Maybe the guy just enjoy rewatching most of his knocking video. Like, okay. <laughs> look at how i do him or maybe he's using it to blackmail these ladies i don't even think so never maybe he's just using it to show off to his friends like okay i don't think say i will knock this babe say i don't knock him or maybe or he just have a self pleasure in watching those particular contents or videos because personally i don't think i don't think it's the rightful thing to do having done such illicit things and you have to record it for your phone believing allegedly that he is your phone and you are the president of uh anif and nobody can crack your phone because you are a security agency it's just like currently the sec chairman of nigeria would never want the thought that okay somebody will have to look at his phone or maybe invade his home to check anything because he has a security guide guiding him he felt like he's the or guard the top until nemesis caught up with him maybe he never expected it or he never saw that coming having said that for those that are interested in this video like i said or like i will always said when things like this comes up we can't put it here the only way i can help you is to go to plan b blog on telegram this channel on telegram you will see the picture of the guy and you will click on the picture you will find all the videos hey god do god do hey anyway most of the video the only thing i just respected the guy for is that ebola big yes the guy ebola big and i don't really know why anytime he's knocking he's looking at the cctv camera i don't really know i don't really know but you guys shall go and watch the video maybe if you watch it you will have your own perspective view on why he is doing all of that because it's not just one clip the clips shall long so i would have just okay let me say the link on the youtube channel here but definitely youtube is angry about that and they will definitely bring that this particular video and at the same time restrict my channel so for that reason i don't want to offend youtube and at the same time i please with every one of you that is expecting to see the video at the end of this clip for the sake of my channel I can't put any illicit video or even graphics video on YouTube or any social media because they will, they will definitely not just remove the video but also restrict my channel whereby 100,000 subscribers, if I post a video, just two view or 100 view. In the case, maybe they will not even allow anybody to watch any of my content. That's why you see some channel, they have big subscribers but nobody is watching their channel they post video they struggle to have 1000 view because of the kind of things they do so i'm apologizing on behalf of my team don't feel like you wasted your data just go there and watch it that's why i'm even trying to filter because even if i'm referring you there 
it's still a big problem sometimes on the channel. So I love you guys. Remember, God love you more. For those of you, particularly you, who always come to my channel and say, hold news. You don't jump on hold news. This news is very old. Please, 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 please learn to save your data if you have watched the video somewhere else before. I am not just a normal regular blogger who just downloads content and posts. Those are the people on Instagram. Like today I'd not gossip me, Instablock Niger, Lida KG, and as the case may be, Gist Lover. Those are the people that just download content and post directly as if they ought. Sometimes people like us who make analysis about those videos, you have to wait to get more information. I cannot just take one video, trend the video. Okay, I, let me talk about it. Before I finish talking about it, posting it, another person is saying, Oh, this person has been released. I run back again. I talked about he has been released. Before you know, they said, Oh, he has been arrested again. That's why sometimes I have to wait for two to three days to gather enough information before I come back to give you guys the full details. That's why most of my video is really long so that you get all the full gist at once. But some people, I will not say some of them are so gullible because if I list, if I watch your comments, it's annoying sometimes. Sometimes I felt like I owe you an apology because definitely you like me so much. That's why you always come back to watch my content. If you feel uh, uh, offended or in the case, maybe sometimes like you feel disappointed for me not posting the content on time, I'm deeply sorry. I'm not the only one. I try to watch those that are also looking up to. Sometimes this, I've even talked about the video three days ago. These people are just recently talking about it. After seven days later, their fans are still watching. I see a lot of comments, supportive. I see the video even grow more than my own. I felt like, okay, what? Me, you know, just three days in travel. Some people is already angry. Oh, I've watched it on Instagram. Why are you talking about it now? Oh, this is... Be cool. If you know you have watched it on Instagram, you have watched it, any of my videos that I'm talking about, please just save your data. Don't discourage your others. Don't try and discredit me. It is not really encouraging. Aside that, I really love you guys for your great support. Because without you, I will not be making video. I cannot make video for myself to be watching. You guys are watching, and I sincerely ap appreciate those that are commenting, liking, and sharing my content. I love you guys. If there is any of that updates, I will be here to give you guys. Until we meet again, stay tuned, Plan B TV. Peace out. I'll be waiting for you guys in the comment section. After you watch the video, please come back and comment your thoughts. Remember, our videos is there on Plan B blog. Peace out. All right. So, a lot of you are getting this story of this man mixed up. This man, Balthazar Ebang Egonga of Equatorial Guinea, was not arrested because of all those knocking tapes. This man was arrested because in his office, they were suspecting him of being fraudulent. So they carried out the investigation and the investigation led them to his house. Why they were looking for evidence, document and everything to prove that he was fraudulent. That was when they came across those tapes, those over 300 or something tapes. Now, a lot of things, men, especially men, I need to learn from this thing. If you watch those videos, like me, I get over 80 of the videos, right? If you watch those videos, none of those women were forced. None of them were forced. None of them were minors. As a matter of fact, some of those videos, now the women, they even adjust the camera. Then they look the camera, they, they, they laugh. Those were people's wives, uh, the president's daughter, people's wife, people's pregnant wife. Do you understand? There was no just, there was nothing. And before you think the man is using his influence of his political office or is using influence of maybe he has money to knock all those people, it's not true. Because the Attorney General of the Federation wife did it. So if you knock the Attorney General of the Federation wife, that one will go get money, obviously. President's sister, the president's daughter did it. In that one, the idea of their police did it. So it's not influence or it's not money. These women were willingly giving their quakers to this man. Do you understand? He seek consent 100%. Why? If you go deeper, you see, you see men, eh? a lot of now we just marry wife and I'll keep for house and I'll go neglect them and I'll bring money for food, give them money for school fees, make them buy clothes. If you say that the only thing where women need, women like attention. They need attention. Give them attention. I'm pretty sure that that man saw the loopholes of their husbands and immediately he proposed all those things to those women. They were okay. They were happy. The camera did their face. They didn't care if this video will ever come out. They spread leg. Some of them are then carrying their own saliva put for the to do for the guy. 
Yes. The one where even get Belelo sent. See those ones for in office. About four for in office. Two get Bele. One for in office. They look the camera. They no care. Me, the person why I even pity for all this thing. Now the man wife. To think he did knock all those women without CD. You go come call see knocking wife. That's number one. Number two. Everybody they talk about only this guy video, but this particular woman video, I won't video alone. It passed like 15. Of different women. Now only another one of one man, and I think the other man was her husband. She has the same video with her husband. Where she get with this man. Every other one this woman has is with different women. Young girls, older women and all. She could just carry them. Who? Suck to two. Carry them. Who? Suck to two. This one, or she now she go the suck person to two, or they go be like four for inside the room. Three go to suck her own, or she go to suck the three own. She had her own face. I don't know why now only this man won't know they see. But I guess okay, yes, because of the man public office. Man, stop neglecting your wives. This is the internet generation. Unlike before, where you go hard for somebody to meet your wife. This is internet. Smart thing, they don't start to the chat. If the guy they said jeans, your wife will say she want other jeans for for you. Next thing, maybe through through she want other jeans. The guy don't start to the hype your wife. Oh, your wife look you, you look beautiful. I'm sure your husband is treating you well. Next thing, you don't start to the talk. Next thing, you never know, because you are nowhere to be found. Because ask yourself a question right now: How were these women so comfortable with their husbands at home? They were so comfortable. To be doing all those if you check out well even their husbands are guilty of the same thing these women are doing in that video but it still doesn't justify anything if i thought say you know go shame for your husband shame for your children if i thought say you know go shame for your wife shame for your children it's just an embarrassment but for me this guy did not commit any crime at all the only one where pay me is the crime against, oh my goodness, crime against moral and principle. The one where knocking brother wife, give him ballistic, get picking inside his brother children. That is the craziest of them all. Every other one is just there. Your own blood brother. In pastor, uh, wife, and all those other people. <laughs> but you see that his brothers? Oh, nah. Crazy. I saw the, the videos plenty from my hand that they look at them and say, wow. Anyways, it is what it is. You better take care of your wife. Give your wife attention. Else, Balthazar Ebange Gonga is going to make her learn. And she might learn the hard way while smiling on the camera. Peace and love. Don't play. <laughs> too, because, you know, having said that, men... You know, we need to up our game too. If your woman is not really happy with you, your woman is not really happy with um, uh, with you in the other room, or maybe she's been <laughs> giving you hints and complaining. I mean, you need to be uh, be sensitive and listen to your woman and give her whatever she wants. You understand? I mean, yeah. I mean, that's, that's the the only thing I have to say about that. Because men too, we, we need to, uh, men too need to up their game. And um, we need to take good care of ourselves and um, take good care of our wives too. So anyway, without much, um, without much ado, I don't want to waste your time. Um, I want you to listen to what very, very dark man has got to say in this video. And I bet you, yes, any sane man or woman out there will not disagree with this, um, with this guy. So take a listen and um, let's enjoy this together. At the end of it all, you can please make your comment and let's hear your own view, your own opinion about, about all this. So um, until I see you next time in my, in, in my channel in the next uh, topic, then please do take care of yourself, <laughs> take care of your wife, your kids, your, your home, and most importantly also take good care of yourself. Bye-bye now. Hello everybody, welcome back to Plan B TV News, Gist and Blog. How many of you saw the viral video or how many of you have heard the news or the viral news or the trending news about this particular man from Equatorial Guinea? Oh boy, 
I started making research about him because everybody is talking about him on social media and everybody said, have you saw the video? Have you saw the video? Have you saw the video? I went on the internet and I did some research about this particular guy and he's the CEO of Anif. And I said, okay, when I tried to get some video clip about this guy, I stumbled across a video of VDM analyzing everything that happened. It's just like, okay, it's helping me to do a CGC or analyzing the news or the gist that is already trending. So it just saved my time. And I said, okay, let me play to you guys how video may break down about everything that happened. Then we'll be right back to play you the particular trendy videos because the videos share many. I want you guys to watch. We'll be right back. All right. So because I could not sleep during the early hours of today, I was just surfing through the internet and I stumbled on the craziest story ever. When I mean crazy, crazy. <laughs> okay, so this guy on my screen, his name is Balthazar Ebang Egonga. And according to the story, he is the boss of ANIF in Equatorial Guinea. What does ANIF stand for? ANIF stands for National Financial Investigation Agency of Equatorial Guinea. Now, what do they do? They fight against money laundering, terrorist financing, and the proliferation of weapon of mass destruction. So just like Nigeria, where we get EFCC and so and NIA. So then there'll be the combination of EFCC and NIA. Now, what did this guy do? According to the story, that they suspected him of being fraudulent in the company or in the agency. So they decide to investigate him. Um, uh, now so now they go to this guy's house. So they start to search for things. Next thing, they come stumble on some tapes. Some X-rated tapes. Only for these people to carry the tapes, so may they slaughter me. The first thing where they see. Now this guy. When in the knock one of the president's sister. <laughs> inside the office. All these videos that I tell you about, I don't see plenty. Like, I don't see at least 60 <laughs> before this morning, right? And when I tell you the videos are crazy, I mean crazy. They slot in the other one according to the story, and they saw him with his own blood brother's sister, with his own blood, blood brother's wife. His own blood brother's wife. He did not come. Now, they don't even find out, say, two picking inside him, brother, children, and even get out. They slot in another one. A video with this guy and person wife where get belay. Person wife where get belay. Guy the chopper. They slot in another one. This guy with his own cousin. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, but she's the apple, though. Not only God know we see I they see for everywhere they bro. There's some story that you'll be like, what? This guy and his own cousin. Slotting another one. This guy and a particular lady. This one is married, right? But she too, she also has videos of herself and some other women where she said they chop the women. So she they chop them, recruit for them. Then she too she go chop the woman. Based on say she she they do man and woman. Right. They slot and in more videos of farm inside office. You can't get one particular one when I watch. I say, wait a minute, wait till they go on for years. So the guy just opened in bowl. I just put for that sink where they say they piss for inside that toilet sink. One woman, your kaya man, your put for the bowl. Like just drink all the piss. All the piss now she drink. She collect all the piss, drink and shh, from there as if in a cup. <sighs> Bro. All these people in power and only God knows what they did do. God of his uh, Eh, your own cousin. Now let me even bust your head, right? There's another one again where the woman, children, they for background. Instead of me, that one make video for her saying. Now I tell you this, Teresa, live there with their language. Do you understand? The speaking just live there. She starts. The children they within. She starts. She no care. Obviously, this guy they give them money. So, but for now, according to the story, he has been arrested by the president of. Equatorial Guinea. Now, first things first, right? Me, I watched the video based on my observation. I noticed that none of them be minor. None of them be minor. All of them are adults. Do you understand? All of them are adults. And the way he made those videos. See, I said I was watching the video. There are videos where we say you do for road. Public road. Do you understand? Like when, okay, I think there's a, there are times where people don't use that road. I don't know where to be in fetish. Center of the road. The one where they do for beach, 
public beach. I said they watch all those videos at my head, they bust. Public beach. Did you? Different one. It's like an office. It's oh god of Israel. Well, the blessed say this poor of daddy thing don't they go round. It don't reach Equatorial Guinea. Very soon it will reach Nigeria. Well, that's what I'll say. I don't think the guy did anything wrong against the constitution. He did a lot of things wrong against principles of life. Like your brother's wife, your cousins, another man's wife that is pregnant. Oh. To crown it up, this one is happily married. He said, happily married man with six children. He gets six picking. Fine wife. And this tape I'm telling you about over 300. Oh my god. Equatorial Guinea. I hail you now. Shout out to you all in Equatorial Guinea. I don't know say now. I don't even know say when I'm strong like that. Eh? <laughs> Anyways, I they wait for the next person where you go up to, to Nigeria so that we go see who go learn and who go learn the hard way. Don't play. For me personally, when I watch some of the clip, because when VDM talks about it, you know you cannot post the video on TikTok, you can't post it on Instagram, you can't post it on um, Facebook, you can't post it even here on YouTube, you can't post it anywhere except on WhatsApp or sometimes Telegram. Now, Telegram these days is even as well restricting many accounts, but I will give you guys the video. First, I really don't know why the guy was doing what he was doing and nobody is stopping you not to have the kind of pleasure you want to have. Like what VDM said, these are adults. So he was never in any way forcing these people. Neither maybe recorded them against their wish because most of them or all of them knew that this guy was recording. My own part of it is that why was he keeping this tip? For what reason he's doing all of this? Like, okay, you did something or your home you know is cheating, but you record it or you documented it or you keep it somewhere maybe the guy just enjoy re-watching most of his knocking video like okay haha <laughs> look at how i do him or maybe he's using it to blackmail these ladies i don't even think so never maybe he's just using it to show off to his friends like okay i don't think you say i will knock this babe see i don't knock him or maybe or he just have a self-pleasure re-watching those particular contents or videos because personally I don't think, I don't think it's the rightful thing to do, having done such illicit things, and you have to record it for your phone, believing allegedly that he is your phone, and you are the president of uh, ANIF, and nobody can crack your phone, because you are a security agency, it's just like, currently, the SEC chairman of Nigeria, we never want the thought that, okay, somebody will have to look at his phone, or maybe invade his own to check anything because he has a security guide guiding him he felt like he's the or guard the top until nemesis caught up with him maybe he never expected it or he never saw that coming having said that for those that are interested in this video like i said or like i will always said when things like this comes up we can't put it here the only way i can help you is to go to plan b blog on telegram this channel on telegram you will see the picture of the guy and you will click on the picture you will find all the videos hey god do god do hey anyway most of the video the only thing i just respected the guy for is that ebola big yes the guy ebola big and i don't really know why anytime he's knocking he's looking at the cctv camera i don't really know i don't really know but you guys shall Go and watch the video. Maybe if you watch it, you will have your own perspective view on why he is doing all of that. Because it's not just one clip. The clips share along. So I would have just, okay, let me say the link on the YouTube channel here. But definitely, YouTube is angry about that. And they will definitely bring that this particular video and at the same time, restrict my channel. So for that reason, I don't want to offend YouTube. And at the same time, I please with every one of you that is expecting to see the video at the end of this clip for the sake of my channel. I can't put any illicit video or even graphics video on YouTube or any social media because they will, they will definitely not just remove the video but also restrict my channel whereby 100,000 subscribers, if I post a video, just two view or 100 view, 
in the case maybe they will not even allow anybody to watch any of my content that's why you see some channel they have big subscribers but nobody is watching their channel they post video they struggle to have 1000 view because of the kind of things they do so i'm apologizing on behalf of my team don't feel like you wasted your data just go there and watch it that's why i'm even trying to fit up because even if i'm referring you there it's still a big problem sometimes on the channel so i love you guys remember god love you more for those of you particularly you who always come to my channel and say hold news you don't jump on hold news this news is very old please 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 learn to save your data if you have watched the video somewhere else before i am not just a normal regular blogger who just downloads content and posts those are the people on instagram like today i not gossip me instablock niger leader kg and uh, the case may be just lover those are the people that just download content and post directly as if they ought sometimes people like us who make analysis about those videos you have to wait to get more information i cannot just take one video try the video okay I, let me talk about it before i finish talking about it posting is another person is saying oh this person has been released i run back again i talk about he has been released before you know they said oh he has been arrested again that's why sometimes i have to wait for two to three days to gather enough information before i come back to give you guys the full details that's why most of my video is really long so that you get all the food just at once but some people I will not say some of them are so gullible because if I list, if I watch your comments, it's annoying sometimes. Sometimes I felt like I owe you an apology because definitely you like me so much. That's why you always come back to watch my content. If you feel uh, uh, offended or in the case, maybe sometimes like you feel disappointed for me not posting the content on time, I'm deeply sorry. I'm not the only one. I try to watch those that are also looking up to. Sometimes this, I've even talked about the video three days ago. These people are just recently talking about it. After seven days later, their fans are still watching. I see a lot of comments, supportive. I see the video even grow more than my own. I felt like, okay, what? Me, you know, just three days in travel. Some people is already angry. Oh, I've watched it on Instagram. Why are you talking about it now? Oh, this is... Be cool. If you know you have watched it on Instagram, you have watched it, any of my videos that I'm talking about, please just save your data. Don't discourage your others. Don't try and discredit me. It is not really encouraging. Aside that, I really love you guys for your great support. Because without you, I will not be making video. I cannot make video for myself to be watching. You guys are watching, and I sincerely ap appreciate those that are commenting, liking, and sharing my content. I love you guys. If there is any of that updates, I will be here to give you guys. Until we meet again, stay tuned, Plan B TV. Peace out. I'll be waiting for you guys in the comment section. After you watch the video, please come back and comment your thoughts. Remember, our videos is there on Plan B blog. Peace out. All right. So a lot of you are getting this story of this man mixed up. This man, Balthazar Bange Gonga of Equatorial Guinea, was not arrested because of all those knocking tapes. This man was arrested because in his office, they were suspecting him of being fraudulent. So they carried out the investigation and the investigation led them to his house. Why they were looking for evidence, document and everything to prove that he was fraudulent. That was when they came across those tapes, those over 300 or something tapes. Now, a lot of things, men, especially men, I need to learn from this thing. If you watch those videos, like me, I get over 80 of the videos, right? If you watch those videos, none of those women were forced. None of them were forced. None of them were minors. As a matter of fact, some of those videos, now the women, they even adjust the camera. Then they look the camera face face, they, they laugh. Those were people's wives, uh, the president's daughter, people wife, people pregnant wife. Do you understand? There was no jazz. There was nothing. And before you think the man is using his influence of his political office or is using influence of maybe he has money to knock all those people, it's not true. Because the Attorney General of the Federation wife did it. So if you knock the Attorney General of the Federation wife, that one will go get money, obviously. President's sister, the president's daughter did it. In that one, the IG of their police did it. So it's not influence or it's not money. These women were willingly giving their quakers to this man. Do you understand? He seek consent 100%. Why? If you go deeper, you see, you see men, eh? 
A lot of now we just marry wife and I'll keep for house and I go neglect them and I'll bring money for food, give them money for school fees, make them buy clothes. If you say that the only thing where women need, women like attention, they need attention, give them attention. I'm pretty sure that that man saw the loopholes of their husbands and immediately he proposed all those things to those women. They were okay. They were happy. The camera did their face. They didn't care if this video will ever come out. They spread leg. Some of them are then carrying their own saliva put for the to do for the guy. Yes. The one will even get Beleno sent. See those ones for in office. About four for in office. Two get Bele. One for in office. They look the camera. They no care. Me, the person why I even pity for all these things. Now the man wife. To think he didn't knock all those women without CD. You can come and see knocking wife. That's number one. Number two, everybody they talk about only this guy video, but this particular woman video, our own video alone, it passed like 15 of different women. Not only another one of one man, and I think the other man was her husband. She has the same video with her husband. Where she get with this man? Every other one this woman has is with different women, young girls, older women and all. She could just carry them. Who? Suck to two. Carry them. Who? Suck to two. This one. Or she now. She go the suck person to two. Or they go be like four for inside the room. Three. Go the suck her own. Or she go the suck three own. She had her own face. I don't know why now only this man. Who now they see. But I guess, okay, yes. Because of the man public office. Man. Stop neglecting your wives. This is the internet generation. Unlike before, where you go hard for somebody to meet your wife, this is internet. Small thing, they don't start to the chat. If the guy they said jeans, your wife will say she want other jeans for for you. Next thing, maybe through through she want other jeans. The guy don't start to the hype your wife. Oh, your wife look you, you look beautiful. I'm sure your husband is treating you well. Next thing, you don't start to the talk. Next thing, you never know, because you are nowhere to be found. Because ask yourself a question right now: How were these women so comfortable? With their husbands at home, they were so comfortable to be doing all those. If you check out well, even their husbands are guilty of the same thing these women are doing in that video. But it still doesn't justify anything. If at all say you no go shame for your husband, shame for your children. If at all say you no go shame for your wife, shame for your children. It's just an embarrassment. But for me, this guy did not commit any crime at all. The only one where it pay me is the crime against, oh my goodness, crime against moral and principle. The one where knocking brother wife, give him ballistic, get picking inside his brother children. That is the craziest of them all. Every other one is just there. Your own blood brother. In pastor, uh, wife, and all those other people. <laughs> but you see that his brothers? Oh, nah. Crazy. I saw the, the videos plenty for my hand and they look at them and say, wow. Anyways, it is what it is. You better take care of your wife. Give your wife attention. Else, Balthazar Ebange Gonga is going to make her learn. And she might learn the hard way while smiling on the camera. Peace and love. Don't play. <laughs> make your comment and let's hear your own view your own opinion about, about all this. So um, until I see you next time in my, in, in my channel in the next uh, topic, then please do take care of yourself. <laughs> take care of your wife, your kids, your, your home. And most of us also take good care of yourself. Bye-bye now.